Hi, my name's Tilly and welcome to Tilly Chew. Today we're going to be reading Harry McClary's Show Business. In Riverside Hall on Cabbage Tree Row, the Cat Club were having their annual show. There were fat cats and thin cats, tabbies and greys, kick up aging cats with boisterous ways. Cooped up in cages, they practiced their wells while their owners fussed over their teeth and their tails. Out in the street, tied to a tree, Hamy Clary was trying to see. He struggled and squirmed. He unraveled the knot and, dragging his lead, he was off at the trot. He bounced up the steps and pounced through the door. He pricked up his ears and pranced round the floor, flapping and flustering, bothering, blustering, leaving behind him a hiss and a roar. Stop, cried the president. Collar him, quick. But Harry McClary was slippery slick. He slid under tables. He jumped over chairs. He skittered through legs. And he sped down the stairs. In and, in and out doorways, through bang, banners and flags, tangling together belongings and bags. Along came Miss Plum with a big silver cup. Got him, she said, and she snuffled him up. Preening and purring, the prize winners sat with their rosettes and cups on the prize winners' mat. On this page, there's Biggest Family with a cat and loads of kittens, and then Worst Temper, which is Scarface Claw, and then Longest Whiskers, Snootiest. And who won the prize of the scruffiest cat? There's the fattest and scruffiest cat was Harry McClary and Donaldson's Dairy. <laughs> scruffiest. I hope you enjoyed this video. And even though Harry McClary won, he's not a cat. See you next time, Tuesday. Bye.